All right, I got some March Madness betting and bracket tips. This will be part one. You want to optimize the pools or contests you enter. Be selective. Everyone fills out a bracket, either small office pools or big pick 'em contests. You want to try and find some contests or pools that are have weak competition. Limit the amount of big pools you where the average entry of the pool is knowledgeable in college basketball and they know about every team. I'm always asking my mother or my sister or my aunt if there's any office pools at their work. I don't care if it's a $10 entry. I want to find as many pools and contests where the majority of the entries don't know much about college basketball. Now, once you've entered some March Madness pools filled with suckers, the next thing you want to look for is location of where these games are played. Technically, every game in the tournament is a neutral site game with no home team, but being aware of where the games are being played is helpful for several reasons. It's impossible for the bracket committee to make every game a true 100% neutral site game. Some of these teams, by luck of the draw, uh, will be playing in the games in their own backyard, basically, which, of course, will give them a home edge. But more importantly, there's always teams that get screwed and have to travel across country uh, to play their games. So pay attention to the regions and where the games are played. And which teams benefit from location? Uh, Akron, Crichton. Um, that game's being played in Pittsburgh. That's right in Akron's backyard. The Omaha region uh, has a couple teams playing close to home. Drake has a big travel advantage on their game versus Washington State. Iowa State, only two hours away from Omaha where they'll play South Dakota State. Uh, Nevada, they're playing in Utah versus Dayton. Um, that's obviously a, a closer to them. San Diego State, they're playing in Spokane, Washington versus UAB. That's a big travel advantage. Also, some of these locations are more shooter-friendly gyms than others with better sight lines. And some locations have much more trickier sight lines or, you know, these elevated courts uh, that take some time to adjust to. I'll have a few more videos uh, with tips, but none of them are going to have picks on teams I like because I don't handicap college basketball, which means... I don't research or study college basketball. It's a sport I don't have time to work on. Uh, but I do bet college basketball, and I've done really well three out of the last four seasons and up around 25 units this season. And it's because I have access to bets made by a very sharp college basketball betting group. I get them accounts to bet on, and in exchange, I can see what these sharp betting groups are betting. I copy them and post them in the Betting Network Discord community I run. We call them source plays. You can access these plays with a pro membership in the Discord, or you can get them sent to you directly by signing up on my fan basis account uh, and selecting a source play package. The both links are in my bio. Now stay tuned for more March Madness betting and bracket tips part two.